Some marvellous images there, really. Uh, joining us now is Conway Matobi, who's a Hubble researcher from Manchester Metropolitan University. That's one of six locations in the UK that will reveal the image. Come on, give us a little, little hint <laughs> about what we're going to see. Very difficult because it's under embargo and we've got various secret services watching this program. Oh. Oh. Sure I don't say it. Okay, well, you know, these... The images that are going to come through, they're so precious, aren't they? Because we were doing, yeah. in, our, in our research, we found that a mirror in the telescope was slightly misaligned, I think, by about four microns, which is Absolutely. like half a human hair's width. That and, right. and you needed a rescue mission to make that yeah. right, because yeah. the pictures came back fuzzy. So these are really precious. I think, um, you know, sort of it's uh, that particular repair was very important because. Uh, we suddenly had a situation where billions of dollars had been spent putting the Hubble Space Telescope out there, and uh, suddenly the pictures which were coming back were the same as you would get if you picked up uh, a little telescope from a pound shop, and oh. therefore using taxpayers' money that way was not really a good thing, so repairing it was absolutely fantastic. And um, I don't know if, um, you know, sort of, uh, you know, you can imagine what half of a human hair the width of that that was the mistake and that was nicely um, repaired and while actually very lucky um, i mean by we i mean the people in manchester because the woman who actually went up there the astronaut who one of the astronauts who went up to repair it will be here on the 6th of june you know we're doing a thing at the manchester airport but uh, that is for another day okay um the images and we've got some of them behind yeah. us they have been stunning over the years haven't they how yes. much have, have we learned because of hubble do you think i think we've learned a lot um people sort of say well it's just space we are in space as well because earth is a planet so for example um when we actually study earth it is very difficult with satellites to actually see it very clearly yeah. because we've got an atmosphere whereas when actually hubble looked at mars we're able over three days to actually see how we can have various sort of uh, climatic changes because um, mars does not have an atmosphere as such i mean we are sitting around here now you don't know that you've got the pressure of about 14.7 uh, um, you know, pounds per square inch on you. On Mars, the pressure is very low. It's, right. it's only six one thousand yets of the pressure which we feel here. So you know, whatever atmosphere is, there is escaping all the time. But it means that Hubble was able to see very clearly on it and actually capture the yeah. dust storms then how they form and over three days we're able to actually um, come up you know so with an understanding of what would take us quite a number of years from our own satellites which observe earth yeah. and uh, it feels like the trend now is to find out more about mars and signs of life but uh, you know there obviously are the other planets and jupiter i mean it's mm. always been one of my favorites that and yeah. saturn because of the rings but the red spot now this is something that's really fascinated Yes. scientists and astronomers yeah, and it, ast astrophysicists and, well, yes. and being able to see the changes of that red I spot. think the beauty of it is that um, Hubble was able to give us a lot of information about Jupiter. The red spot is just, as you say, everyone knows about the red spot. But I think um, people might actually wish to know that actually in science it's possible to sometimes sort of uh, have certain views and be ready in a press conference, you know, to give those views and then suddenly things go wrong. Because on Jupiter we yeah. had uh, Schumacher-Levy when the Schumacher-Levy comet uh, was, uh, you know, disintegrating and there was all the talk, oh, will it strike Jupiter? Oh, <laughs> doom is coming. And uh, Schumacher was actually upstairs, sort of, um, at the, uh, uh, the Science Telescope um, Institute. And um, he actually sort of uh, thought it would not happen. And people people you know, were saying, ooh, ooh, and actually the crash of, uh, you know, Oh, Not your so excitement, I tell you, it's right, infectious. Yeah. Thank you so much. We're out of time, otherwise we could sit here on the sofa yeah. all day and talk about this. We absolutely could. Thank you, Conway Matobi. Thank, Matobi. thank you. We look forward well, to seeing thank, the pictures thank later. You. Um, yes. those, those pictures will be revealed later. Thank yes. you so much. Um, the Victoria Derbyshire Show is coming up on BBC News Channel at 9.15 this morning.